All right, YouTube, check it out. Today's video, we're gonna do something a little different. So a couple weeks ago on my Instagram, I asked for y'all to shoot me some questions. So today's video, we're actually gonna be doing a Q&A. So I got my questions right here on my phone. I screenshotted all the questions. So I'm gonna be getting to them, answer them to the best of my ability. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Let's go. All right, so the first question that I got, I'm gonna go ahead and do this in order from, you know, like the first question to the last. I don't have no specific way I'm gonna do this, but yeah, let's go, let's get into it. So the first question someone asked me was, how long did it take you to do a decent fade? Now, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't even remember how long it took me to get semi-decent at fading, but if I remember correctly, my first fades were pretty decent from the jump, you know what I'm saying? Like I had been cutting hair on myself and I don't know how long it was before I actually cut somebody else's hair you know maybe a couple months or so but I want to say my first fades were semi-decent I'm not saying they were they were good or like the iciest fade or the blurriest haircut but I think from the jump when I first picked up a clipper my fades were just pretty good from the start and that's just because I would watch a lot of uh, when I go to the barber shop I'd watch the barber cut my homeboy's hair or when he was cutting my hair I was you know really trying to pay attention to what he was doing with the lever and stuff so that's why my fades were semi-decent I just had a a pretty decent understanding of how it went, you know, especially with my haircut. Like, I got a one and a ball fade at the time, so that was a real easy fade. Um, when I was cutting my little brother's hair, he was getting like a two and a ball fade. And when I was cutting my friend's hair, he was getting like a one and a half or a two and a ball fade. So they were all pretty easy fades, so it didn't take me that long to get decent at that. So another question I got was, what was your biggest struggle during fading? Uh, so when I first started, you know, cutting hair, my biggest struggle was obviously getting out that bottom line, like that zero line. Like I, I didn't know what I was getting into, but I would shave the sides with the with the Norelco and getting out that bottom line, it just took me forever to do. And it's because I didn't have the right tools and I didn't have none of my tools, zero gap. I didn't even know what zero gapping was. So I really didn't know how to get that bottom line out. So it would take me forever. I would use the Norelco and I would use a, a shaving razor then I will use my trimmer. I would do so much stuff to try to get that bottom shaver line out and it just, I couldn't do it, you know, it took me forever to figure out how to do it. But once I figured it out, you know, it was pretty good. And even now sometimes, you know, getting them, that bottom line out is difficult when I start, when I get new clippers and I don't know how they work. But uh, for the most part, you know what I'm saying, that, that was probably my hardest struggle when it came to fading. So someone asked me, what made you start barbering? So uh, honestly, what made me start barbering, well, let me just go back to like, what made me start cutting hair in general was, I wanted to get a haircut so often and my parents would not pay for me to get a haircut. You know, I wanted to go every week. And at the time, like my parents were like, no, you're only gonna go once every two weeks, so make it last, da 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 So I'm like, well, I, I wanna be fresh like every week. So I started cutting my own hair. So from there, then I started practicing on my little brother and then I started practicing on some friends and then People started seeing my cuts and people were like, hey man, you mind if I, if, if I come to the house and you cut my hair? So I would start cutting their hair and once I started getting more clientele or more friends to cut, more canvases to practice on, I really started enjoying it more. So I just I just took it from there and I was like, man, I kind of like, you know, I, I like cutting hair, I like doing this, so I think this is what I want to do. So basically that's what really got me into deciding to be a barber. The next question is, what is your favorite trimmer and clipper for fading? Uh, man. For fading, so right now, like, honestly, I'm being 100% honest with y'all, my favorite, my, I can't even speak properly, but my favorite clipper and trimmer combo as of right now, like today, would probably be the Absolute Hitters and the, uh, the Gamma Ergos. And that's only because, you know what I'm saying, not to knock any other of my tools or any other clipper companies or whatever, but I say that because like, as of right now, those are my newest tools. So, you know, when I get something new, it's like everybody, you know, you get a new tool or a new toy, you want to play with it, you want to see what it does. So as of right now, that's my favorite one. Uh, it is a really good clipper and I really like it, but as of right now, that's my favorite clipper. Uh, I am kind of alternating between that one, my Babyliss FX, and my Andes Masters. Those are like my top three in rotation right now, but my favorite trimmer and clipper combos would have to be my Absolute Hitters and my Gamma Ergos, and that's just because, like I said, they're new, and I just, I just rock with them a lot right now. What tips do you give to young and beginning barbers? Oh, man. All right. What tips should I give? Okay. But one tip I want to say is you should be the first barber at the barbershop and the last one to leave. Now I know you're thinking, well, how can I be first if I don't have a key or we don't open up to 10 or whatever? All right, well, just, just hear me out. If your barbershop that you're working at right now opens up at 10 o'clock, you should be there at 9.30, 9.45. 
And I say this because showing that you're the first barber there lets not just the other barbers know, but it's gonna let clientele know, you know, clients get there before the shop opens sometimes. So they're gonna know that, oh, this guy's hungry, he wants to get it, maybe I should give him a chance one day or whatever. And you should also be one of the last barbers to leave. So if, you know, if, if you're done for the day at four o'clock, but the shop doesn't close until six, you should stay there till at least six. Now, if those barbers still cutting, I would advise you to stay and watch them cut and just learn from them, you know, learn from the barbers around you. Like, it, it, it really is really gonna help you out a lot. Like, when I first started my, my barber path, I would watch the other barbers cut and I would learn a lot. And another tip, just ask questions to the fellow barbers around your area, barbers you work with, barbers you look up to on Instagram, ask questions. Like, nine times out of 10, they're gonna answer the question. Uh, now, some barbers may be a little rude or may not wanna give up the game or whatever, but man, if you just ask questions, you're gonna learn a lot. So I think those are like, the, what, two of the best tips I can probably give you is make sure you're at the shop, you know, for until from open to close, you know what I'm saying, and ask a bunch of questions. And also a good tip I would say is make sure you keep some type of promotional, like business cards or something on you at all times and make sure you're giving that out just to make sure you're giving yourself uh, the opportunity to gain clients. That's a, that's a big thing also. A lot of beginner barbers struggle gaining new clients, but if you have cards on you that have your Instagram name or, or something where they can find your work at, they're gonna see it and they're gonna most likely come to you in the future. All right, so this next question is, how do I keep myself from going too high when blending? All right, so, man, so a lot of time when blending, we tend to chase that line. You know, we're trying to, we're fading up. You know, we start with the trimmer bald, whatever, and then we go from the clipper open, and then we fade that line out, and then we get the number one guard on there open, and we're going up, up, and up, and up, and up, right? So the fade is getting higher. But what I used to do, because I would find myself going high a lot of the times, what I started doing was I started actually fading downwards. So for instance, if they got a number four on top, so let's say we cut the top of the head with the four, they wanted the mid fade, we put the bottom line in the middle, they got the bottom line and they got the number four on top. Now if you wanna keep yourself from going too high is, what you can do is something that I did and uh, I would always recommend this, is start fading down. Meaning you did that four on top, right? So go ahead and hit the parietal ridge with like a three and a half, uh, then hit it with the three, then go with your two guard open, then your two close, then your one and a half, you know, fade downwards and then start doing your steps up. Now, it might take you a little longer, but it's gonna be a lot easier to keep that fade where you want it to be and not go too high. Because like I said, when we start chasing that line, that's when sometimes we just start pushing it too high because we're not sure about how the fade looks or if it's completely blended out. But if you fade backwards, you know, it keeps the, it keeps the fade lower. So that way it's a lot, it's a lot safer and it makes it harder to, uh, harder to go too high. So if you're having an issue with taking your fades too high, if that's you, if you take your blends too high, start, uh, try to start fading backwards, you know, from, from the highest number to the lowest, and I think that's gonna help a lot. All right, so I got a few more questions. Uh, this next one is, what got you into barbering? Uh, I kinda already, you know, went over that one, so basically, same thing, you know, I just wanted to stay fresh. Parents didn't give me no money for no haircut, so I had to start cutting my own hair, basically. All right, so someone asked, when will you do giveaways? I already did my first giveaway. Uh, I will be doing another giveaway once I hit uh, 2,000 subscribers. And then once I reach 5,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away. And I'll let y'all know when they're coming up or when I plan to do other ones. So y'all just stay tuned. Make sure y'all hit that notification bell so y'all know when I'm dropping new videos so y'all can stay up to date with what's going on. All right, so someone asked, what are the best trimmers? Now, what are the best trimmers? That's a question like, Everyone's probably gonna have a different answer, you know, uh, but me personally uh, My two favorite trimmers as of right now would be my absolute hitters and my uh, Babyliss skeleton FX. Those are my two favorite ones right now uh, They just for me they work the best they're really good at balding out and they're really good at creating nice crisp lines So for me those are the best there's some barbers in this shop that they prefer the wall trimmers uh, Some prefer the Andes uh, T outliners. It's really just based on preference what you like but for me as of right now my Babyliss Skeleton FX and my uh, Gamma Absolute Hitters are, are the best trimmers and that's just my opinion. All right, so the last question that I got was, where do you get all your tools from? Really, I get my tools from a bunch of different places. Like, uh, just so y'all know, like I, I go online, I have some people that come in here and they sell tools. Uh, the internet, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I go to Pachuca Barber Supply a lot, so I'm gonna make sure I put that link somewhere down here or in the description. You can go to PachucaBarberSupply.com, ClipperDepot.com, uh, Supreme Barber Supply, 
SupremeBarberSupply.com. Uh, those are like my main three that I go to online. And then like I said, I just go to local places here. I have people who come in and sell clippers. Uh, sometimes I go through the actual company. Uh, there's a bunch of different places you can get it, but for sure, for sure, if you're gonna order online, I would suggest you go to PachucaBarberSupply.com, SupremeBarberSupply.com, or ClipperDepot.com. Those are my top three that I go to for online ordering. And like I said, uh, if you have a barber supply in your area, obviously they're probably gonna be a good place too. You can get really good relations with them and they might start giving you good deals. But, uh, but yeah guys, those are basically all the questions that I got. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. Uh, make sure you like this video. And if you haven't done so, make sure to subscribe one time for your boy. Y'all know the drill, guys. Uh, but other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I will be doing some more Q&As. Uh, give me some more time. I'll probably be posting it on my Instagram. But like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. You know, I'll get to those as soon as I can. Uh, and uh, Yeah, guys, I appreciate y'all YouTube. Until next time.